Hi and welcome to tutorial number 15 on my webpage. Um, today I'm going to play with arrows because uh, this guy on SpinCut has asked a question on how I could or how he could make uh, something like the arrow here in the recycle sign. Uh, but before I start explaining how this can be done, I would like to shoot this arrow at uh, the direction of Newtick. Because for several years I have been experiencing some weird stuff in Lightwave. Now here is Lightwave 10.1 you see, and I have the arrow here. And uh, I'll say this is a fairly simple model. We have what, 7 points or something? And that's about it. But still, uh, they managed somehow to mess up my OpenGL. It's not visible right now, because I have altered the model a, bit, a little bit. You see, if I zoom in here, you can see I have pulled down these two points here. And I have that for a reason. If I now take this and line up again, you'll see if I can hit like this. You see, they are now aligned, and I start getting weird open gill stuff happening over here. And uh, that also happens often when doing stuff like text with a letter T and other similar letters. As you see here, nothing yet. Extrude and bam, weird open gel shapes happening. The funny part is if I do say a box here and I bear with this I can make the edges just fine, no problem. And I can also join these faces here, still no problem. But apparently when the polygons are aligned stuff starts to happen for some reason. Um, the weird thing though is if I take this here and I go check in layout Layout is displaying the open wheel just fine. And I can also render the error just fine, no problems. So, I'm not sure in Newtech what's going on, but uh, I take it it's not a driver problem as it I have had this for several years on several graphic cards. Um, and if I go back in time, I can switch down to 9.6 here and display the exact same problem, but here it's only on one side. Uh, in Lightwave 10.1, it's on both sides. So perhaps there's a little bug in OpenGL you should log into sometime soon, please, and fix it. Now back to this, I will correct this a little bit so we don't have to look at this bug by doing this, and we are now going to make an error like this. I'm not going to clone this around, you can do that yourself, but just to display how can you can paint an error like this. So, what I'll do here is to rotate my arrow first like this, and then I'll drag it up a bit. And I'm then going to zoom in here and take the knife tool to cut a few lines through here and I use my background grid to cut from. Um, if you're not aware how I can do several cuts here, it's like when I've drawn the first cut I can place with the right mouse button and I will make similar cuts like this. So I have cut here, I'll undo the last one because that went into here. In fact, let's take a little off here because I made too many, depending on the size of the arrow. Let's try with four here. Oops, like this. Yeah, that's better. I'm then going to use the bend tool. Uh, but I have to uh, set the limits for a bend tool, and I can do that with the right mouse button. 
So I place my cursor down here, hold down the right mouse button and I drag up here. Now what you see here is a limiter that displays that down here is not really going to bend out the model but up here it's going to bend 100%. So I can go to the top view now and I can bend around my arrow here like this and I have made a bend arrow. Of course this could be used for sub patching models also to uh, make this a little smoother but also you could have used more cuts here on the arrow to make it smooth out. So I think you get the general idea here how to use this. So uh, good luck and um, this is tutorial number 50. Stay tuned.